And for that, he's with Jared Greenberg and our guy Smitty as well. And Markeith is, uh, as we call him, a real one. Guys, take it away. Uh, well, one half of the uh, Morris and Morris law firm there. Do you like that sure. diatribe by truck? <laughs> uh, Markeith, what is it about this Laker team here in the bubble, particularly in the postseason, that's allowed you guys to bounce back, that's allowed you to bounce back after losses? Um, it's the will to win, man. Like I always say, we have great leaders. Uh, before this game, LeBron texted us and said it's a must win. You know what I mean? Go out there, parry thing on the court. And if you check the, you know, the Lakers record throughout the year, we haven't lost any back-to-back -back games all year. So, no, that was the emphasis. Come out, play as hard as possible, and this was a must-win game. Marquise, it looked like after halftime, it seemed like the whole shift was about defense. Right. And can you talk about what happened at halftime and what you guys started to depend on and how you guys started to sit down defensively, especially um, AD? Um, we, we made our couple adjustments before the game. Um, we, we had a, a couple of lackadaisical plays, a couple, you know, airhead plays, but we, we came through, we, we pushed through it. A, a half, I think they had about 50 points. So, you know, 25 for both quarters, not bad for us. Um, uh, we couldn't allow Jimmy to get 40 again. Um, we did a great job. KCP, Danny, all night did a great job running the shooters off the, off the three-point line. And, you know, we finished the game. And um, we still can be better. And we know that. And we know uh, we still got another step to get there. And uh, we know it's going to be tough to win the championship, but, but we all for it. In which area are you saying, Marquis better? Defensively, offensively. Okay. You know, we should be scoring 120 a game. Uh, that's, that's, that's our game. We fast-break basketball. Uh, our defense is what we hung our hat on tonight. And... Uh, you know, next game, I think we're going to come out the same way. I know we're going to come out the same way. You, you thought your biggest challenge tonight was going up against the Miami Heat. Uh, I present to you Charles Barkley trying to ask you a question now. Here we go, Chuck. Hey, Chuck, man. Hey, let, my, my Duke's King, let me, me ask you a question. No, hey, no, 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 Chuck, I mean, let me get this out. Let me get this out. Let me get this out. Let me get this out before <laughs> mom kills me. She said, that story you telling in Phoenix, stop telling that story. It ain't true. <laughs> <laughs> she said when she see hey, you. Hey, hey. She's going to walk up to you and she's going to okay. tell you, stop telling that damn story, Chuck. All right? All right, your turn. Hey, hey, listen, let me tell you something. I cannot wait to meet your mom. You know, I've been on you and your brother for a long time when I call y'all the law firm. I love y'all. got respect for you. My question is, when you come in the game, are you concentrating on being physical or intimidating? Because those are two different things. Both. I know, I know, Both? This, you know, it's basketball. No, not, not many people know me off the court, but on the court, you know, we, we intimidate and just where we are, you know what I mean? So that's usually to my advantage. So I'm coming to be physical. I'm coming to follow, I'm coming to follow the hell out you yeah. and I'm coming to, you know, change the game with, with, with energy. I'm old school, Chuck, man. I just play in this new basketball <laughs> area, man. I'm old school. <laughs> I like it. Hey, I Keith, like it. I love it. Uh, I, I tell you, Keith, I had the pleasure of, uh, Coaching your brother Mook is one. I tell you what, he's 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 one of my. He was really one of my favorite guys because I tell you what, he'd always come in and say, "Coach, I need to play more." I say, "You got to keep on working, young fella. You got to keep on working." He worked so hard, man. He got in our rotation. I admire him, and every time I see him now, I get a big smile on my face. That young man's a worker. I know it must come in the family because you work too. Hey, when LeBron starts yeah, playing downhill, you know you got the ability to make you know to make the three and keep everything spread. When he starts playing downhill, does that just kind of activate you guys to get ready because you know good shots are coming? For sure. Um, all series, they've been giving us wide open shots. I think we didn't got up 40 three pointers twice or three times this series. Um, no, nobody can stop huh? LeBron coming to the hole. You know what I mean? They, they need the entire team to stop LeBron to get to the basket. And that's when we just got to, you know, man up and make some shots. This is the, this is the finals. And, you know, big time shots is going to come our way. Kenny, uh, KCP hit one tonight. He hit two, actually, a corner three and drive to the hole late. And that's what we need. You know, we've seen you, and you can score hey. all over the court. And you can uh, get from the post, the, wing, the wings, and everything. But it seems like with on this team, you're just playing at the 45-foot angle. You set the pick and get back to the left or the right. Has it been different kind of just adjusting where you shoot from and becoming a specialist, even though you're used to scoring all around the court? Um, you know, somewhat. You know, the game has changed. So um, on this team, you got to be able to fill a role. I know I'm not going to get the ball in the post, you know, maybe one time every three, four games. So I got to adjust my game. I got to get in the gym. I got to shoot open threes because I'm going to get five to six open looks a night. Is That's just what the NBA is, man. You got to adjust to be able to stay on the court, on the, on the floor every night, especially with these great players, man. Got to be able to adjust. Is it me? So, Keith, I got <laughs> oh, no, a question for you. 
I, I, yeah, I got a question. Okay, number one, number one, I can't wait to meet your mom. But my question is, it's threefold. It's the story, okay, was it Applebee's or Friday's or the story's not true at all? The story not true at all. It was never, a, <laughs> okay, okay. this didn't happen. And by the way, that's that's twofold. That's not threefold. That's three, <laughs> you got to keep track. This is a that's threefold, man. That's happened. threefold. <laughs> Hey, Marquise, can, can, can I get a serious question stuff. into you, Marquise? All right, because I covered yeah. you in Washington before you were on this championship run. How great does it feel to be one win away from, from possibly winning a title? It's amazing, man. Um, you know, I've been through, been to playoffs maybe three times in my career. You know, this time is the, is the first time I really felt like we had a real legit shot to win a championship. Um, we know it's going to be hard. You know, I'm excited, man. Um, one more game. We gotta give everything we got. You know, we go in the record books for for, for history, man, and, this, and this is what, that's what it's about, man. Being the being the Laker, and you know, winning the championship. We can't, you know, can't ask for more. Well, Marquise, we appreciate you stopping hey, by. Hey, hold on, yeah, sir. We're glad you settled oh, that. Hey, hey, no, hold on, hold on, hold on, no, no. I gotta ask another question. Wait, hold on. So, Chris Miles. Yeah. Chris Miles, you know I love you, right? Yeah, Chuck. So your question was. <laughs> As a guy who never won the championship, your question was, <laughs> you're one game away for the championship, or you playing for the damn Washington Wizards? That was your serious question? <laughs> hey, Chuck, Marquise's going to get to know what it's like to win a ring, though, right? <laughs> that's, that's, that's I, I, no, no, but that was, hey, no, hey, that was his question. Hey, I never, like I say, I never won the championship. And you're she's like, well, I got, let me get back to a serious question. You're one game away for the championship. How different is that playing for the damn Washington Wizards? And that's a serious question. Hey, Marquise, just so you know, when you play for the Wizards, I had to uh, deal with Chuck with this all the time, too. Uh, <laughs> well, Marquise, we're going to let you go. Thank you so much. Appreciate you. Appreciate y'all. I appreciate y'all, man. All right. We'll go back to you guys in Atlanta. We'll come back and we'll chat with uh, KCP in a little bit here, guys. On the as we go to break, uh, there it is. Kyle Corver at home asked Parkley, why did you bring me into this conversation? It's Kuz what? Muchacha. I don't know what's going on. <laughs>